control is a is is a, it's a huge word when we start talking about horses. Control means that you need to control the mind of the horse. Controlling the mind of the horse will give you the control of the body and the feet. And it can go either way. If you control the feet, you control the mind. If you control the mind, you control the feet. The reason we want to control the feet is that we be able to place the feet where we want them to be and then create all that magic movement that the horse can do. Controlling the feet, you have a partner, you can go dancing. If you know where the feet are, you are not stepping on them. If you have an idea of what the next step is going to be, you can start to create your own maneuvers, your own movements. So knowing where the feet are is very important as the training foundation to start from the feet and then the rest of the body comes or control the body and go down to the feet. I think that we have kind of a, a misconcept or, or don't understand the concept of that we are not riding the head of the horse, we're riding the feet of the horse. We maybe communicate through the head, but eventually the rein are attaching to the feet, not attaching to the head, because the head is not the moving part, the feet are. You want to know where the feet are so you'll be able to place them and put them where you want to put them. If you don't know where they are, how you can pick up that right hind if you are trying to pick up the left front. It's, it's a point of knowing all the time where the feet are, are going to help you to execute any maneuver. Picking up that right lead or a left lead or when to change from a trot to a walk. It's all about timing and timing is about where the feet are. We have those colors on a horse today because a lot of people have a hard time to understand or to really have a feel for where the feet are. Some of us can really get it by, by looking at. I kind of suggest that after you look at it, start feeling it rather than visualize it because I think it's a, when you're on a horse, it's very hard to see where the feet are. You know, a lot of dressage people have mirrors in their, in their courtyard and I think the old vaquero used to use the shadows of the horse to find out where the feet are. But uh, I really think that the, the best approach to know where the feet are is start feeling them. So start by knowing where are they by looking and see how the footfall of the horse are creating walk jog trot or a lope. We have two colors here. I have the left diagonal of the feet, which is the front left and right hind painting in green. The right one, which is red, would be the right front and the left hind. Now when the horse walk, okay, let's assume that he take the first step into the walk with the left hind, which is the red color. He's take a step with the red, then come the green. Then from the left side, you go to the right side. So from left hind, left front, he jump to the right hind, right front. So left hind, left front, right hind, right front. In other words, it's going to be red, green, green, red, red, green, green, red. So once you learn the footfall, okay, then when you get on it, you can start feeling that because you know that if he start with the left hind, he'll go to the left front. The right hind, the right front. Left front, right hind, right front. The jog is really easy because the jog or a trot, it's a two-beat diagonal. Right front, left hind, hitting the ground at the same time, suspension. Right hind, left front, hitting the ground, suspension. So it's a diagonal, two, legs hitting that on the ground. And if you look at the colors, it's going to be red, green, red, green, red, green. And here we come to the lop, make it very simple. If we go to the left lead, the leading leg is going to be the green. Because your right hind is going to be green, your left front is going to be green. So the horse pick up the left lead is going to push himself with the right green leg, that be the right hind, is going to land with a red diagonal, and then he's going to land on the leading leg, which is green again. 
So it'd be green, red, green, green, red, green. There are a lot of ways that the rider can find where the feet are by using feel and not by looking. For example, every time you walk a horse, okay, you can feel by your sit bones, okay, where the back is moving. When the hind leg come forward, you can feel that on your inside sit bone. Another thing is every time that hind leg comes forward, there is a release on the rein because the back is going come this way, which bring the horse to be a little bit more compact like that. And then you, it's always a release. So it's contraction, okay, and that's a release, a relax. It's, it's tight and it's loose. It's tight and it's loose. So more you learn to pay attention to it, easier it's become to know where those feet are. And you don't need to know all the four of them in one time. But if you know one and you know the footfall, then you know where the rest of them are. The only thing you can see when you ride a horse is you can see his shoulders. Because the shoulders is right in front of you and you can see where the blade comes up or where the blades comes down. So by knowing that the blades comes up, the foot is going to go forward, okay, you know where that particular foot is. So the front, okay, you can, you can, you can see. You cannot see the back. But if you just sit there for a minute, let, let's start the walk, and you can feel that hind leg pushing you up. So when the right hind comes up, you can feel it right in your hip. Because that hip comes up, your hips come up. So you feel where that hip comes up and where the shoulder comes up. Now, we know for a fact that every time the hind leg comes forward, the same front leg needs to make room for that hind leg to come forward so you know what comes next. So you start create that feel by really knowing more than you're feeling and then attach that all together and you got the feel. So hind legs coming forward, front got to move forward. You know it's going to be diagonal to the other side. The problem with that, it's go so fast that you can really maneuver it in your brain because a simple thing is a four step to a stride at the walk is not one, two, three, four. It's more like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Pretty hard to know which one is which, but no one. No when you left front is under your stirrup, okay, you can feel that. Then you know that the next step is going to be your right hind. So knowing the footfall is going to help you to create the feel to know where the feet are just by feel that rather than, than looking for it. Mm -hmm.